Hey guys, welcome back to another animation cell pickup video. So previously, um, quite a while ago now, I won my first ever Marine Boy animation cell, and I honestly thought this show being as rare as it is and from the '60s that I would never find another one until this one popped up on eBay. So this time it's not Marine Boy, but it's from the show, and it is actually his best friend Splasher. How awesome is this? Uh, so you can see he's got a bit of damage ruined tear over the years to be expected. Show you the back then where it gets painted on. I find these things amazing. Look, so you can see, you can tell it's genuine. See uh, the how it's how it's aged over the years. Then in the top right hand corner here, can we see it? If I put it down. There we go, 88 slash, was that like, D18? That must be the scene or something. I still don't understand these numbers. But what's cool about this, guys, is it's come with a background. And, yeah, I can tell you that is genuine. I do recognise some of the scenery used from the show. So that is pretty cool. But what also is good about having the background is you can now take... The Marine Boy animation cell, put it over there. To further add to the picture, you could have Splasher swimming in the background over there. So yeah, that is pretty cool, and you can see now how they've, uh, how they make these cartoons in the past or on anime shows, whatever. Different sides. Um, a couple of my animation cells, uh, they've they've arrived and. Like, I thought, oh, all three characters are in one cell, but they're not. They're, like, three cells or two cells with, like, one character appearing in the front, so it looks like they're ahead of the other two, and it's just really clever how they do it. So, yeah, really happy with that one. It did cost a bit because uh, it is very rare, and the setter said he's going to keep an eye out for more for me in East from Japan. So that definitely helps. Right, guys, this is short and sweet. just wanted to share that with you. I'm still on the lookout for animation cells. I have finally got an art folder, which I have started utilizing from these cells. Now, I'm going to show you something else. My brave star one. As I say, brave heart. Then it's not Scottish. Um, actually, there is another cell I haven't shown you guys before. So let me. There we go. Bit of jubilee there, X-Men. Uh, this is another one I haven't shown you. Uh, Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks, obviously. Hang on, see if I can get this out very carefully. Yeah, so I had this one a few weeks ago. More like numbers, cell arrangements there. What was that, like 49, 40 And on the back and then, on the back even, you can see where it's been painted. Well, that's interesting. Ah, okay. Yes, that's right. So all the uh, facial details were drawn on the front. And then on the back... Just the basic painting, because obviously, look, you can see his eyes there and stuff. Yeah, so that's really cool. So, it's like if you're doing a digital drawing where you have layers. You have one layer for your colour, which will be behind your top layer, which is your line work. So, yeah, um, I saw that one. It, has, it is slightly damaged, as you can see down here. Uh, but it wasn't too expensive compared to others. And I thought, well, is it cartoonish to really enjoy? So yeah, I thought I would go ahead and purchase it. So I'm always on the lookout for new ones, still trying to get that Bucky here one. And <laughs> I don't want to say too much yet, but there's a potential to get my favourite ever one very soon, hopefully. And it would be absolutely epic if this actually comes into fruition. It's not Marine Boy. It's not Bucky here. But if it works out... It will be my favourite and most treasured animation cell in my collection so far. Right guys, thank you for watching and boom, see you soon.